Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the online portfolio access given to you by your financial advisor. We'll see how the journey starts by accepting the invitation that your advisor has given you. And then how do you log in, how to set a username and password, how to log in using that, how to uh, quickly log in using Google sign in. And then we'll go into the basics of how your portal works. Uh, what all reports you can take out uh, to see your portfolio in various ways, how to see the latest transactions being updated on the portal, and then from where to download the capital gain and income tax reports. And then we'll see quickly how the goal planner works and how to invest, uh, switch or redeem online. So the journey starts when your advisor sends you a login invitation. So the invitation mail might look like this or it might be customized by your advisor, but it would basically contain a reset password link and it would inform you what your username is. And it would also tell you the portfolio login page where you will have to go to log into the uh, portfolio viewer. So uh, you have to find the accept invitation button and then click on it to set a password for your account. So if I click on accept invitation, it will come, uh, it will take you to the password reset page where you have to type in your password. And then confirm the same. If I click on reset, this would reset the password and then I can use that to log in. So suppose I've reset the password, then I have the option to log in either on the mobile apps or on the web login. Right now, I'm going to take you through the web login. And if you want to see how the mobile app uh, portal works, you can click on the suggested video on the top right corner, or I've, I'll also put a link in the description below for the other demo video. So if we click on login, uh, we will uh, come to the dashboard. Over here, you can see your current value, which will be a total of all assets that you have in the portal be it mutual funds, shares, fixed deposits, other assets, all the uh, market value updated would be written over here. And similarly, a one day change would also be given, which would be the difference between the current value of uh, today's date and the previous date. And the unrealized gain is also mentioned on the top. This is the total unrealized gain that you would make if you, uh, it, the total gain that you would make if you sell all your investments as on the current market price. The asset allocation between equity, debt, hybrid and liquid is given as a pie chart over here. Your recent transactions are given on the right, which are categorized into purchase and uh, redemptions. So in the purchase side, you can see SIPs, lump sum purchases and switching transactions come here. All the redemption type of transactions come here. So this just basically gives you the top uh, five, six transactions in the system. So you can use this to make sure uh, to just quickly check if a new transaction that you did yesterday or the day before has come into the system or not. Uh, there is a journey graph on at the bottom where you can see how your current value has changed with time and what is the net investment at any given time. So this just plots a, a few points on the graph and shows you how your current value has changed in the chosen time period. So you can choose the current financial year, which would be first April of this year till today. And then it would show you how your net investment uh, uh, changes and how your current value fluctuates with the market. You can also see a since inception uh, graph, which gives an interesting overview of how your entire journey with your advisor has been and how much money he has made for you. So the difference between the two is your total gain that the advisor has uh, made for you, that you have made. Now you can, uh, we'll start to look at a few reports in this portal. Let's just first go to the transactions menu where you can see the list of transactions in the system. So by default, it shows you the last one month transaction, but you can change this date to any past date and then view the transactions between these two dates on the top. So all these transactions are recorded in the system automatically at the backend. 
and are uh, ready for you to view your portfolio so you can filter this report by the transaction type and you can take the, this report out as a excel or a pdf report so the pdf report uh, sort of looks like this it has all the transactions that you saw on the screen in a pdf format uh, if you want to take out a statement of the elss transactions that you have made for the financial year you can choose the subcategory here as elss and then take out a pdf report now let's go to the portfolio report the portfolio valuation report uh, th there are a lot of configurations and a lot of ways that you can see this report the most used one uh, is the one that you can see on the screen you can see your mutual funds and you can group by the folio holding if i click on apply it will show me the list of all the holdings i have the uh, scheme name the purchase the average purchase nav the purchase the cost of those units the current nav and the current value the balance units are mentioned here and the unrealized gain is mentioned which is a subtraction of current value minus purchase value the average holding days are mentioned here and the absolute return and the compounded annual growth rate the cagr is also mentioned over here so it is mentioned for all the schemes and a total CAGR is also mentioned on the top right corner. You can sort on the current value to see how your best fund, how your uh, most weighted funds are performing. If you click on any folio number, it will show you the list of transactions in that folio which are currently uh, alive and not sold yet. So these are all the transactions of the units that you have held currently. So to the total balance units at which date and how much price were each of the units bought this report will clearly show you if i click on the clear all on the top it will bring me back to the previous report now clicking on any scheme will show a fact sheet of that scheme a fact sheet has all the parameters of that scheme straight from the uh, as given by the amc which in this case is access mutual fund so you can see the launch date of the scheme that you're holding the category of that scheme equity multicap the benchmark as prescribed by the amc and the uh, scheme details are also mentioned on the right now this graph basically shows you how the nav of the scheme has changed with respect to time and you can see this across uh, multiple time periods how the nav has changed with time since this is a recent fund the five year return is not there but you can also scroll down and see the trailing returns across different time periods and the calendar year returns this uh, graph shows you how this scheme has performed with respect to it its uh, prescribed benchmark the top holdings of the scheme are also mentioned at the bottom and a rolling return is also given let's see another scheme which is a little bit older okay so for this scheme you can see the nav graph and you can download the fact sheet of this scheme by clicking on the pdf icon on the top right corner this would just give you a one to two page report of this the scheme's performance let me zoom in so uh, it shows you the how uh, how the performance of the scheme is in the last three years and the holdings of this scheme as on the last month you can also down uh, see this report uh, family member wise in case you have a family login you can click on the investor option and click on apply so it will list uh, investor wise what is the portfolio valuation now the other ways to see this report is if you can see it pdf uh, when you click on pdf it will show you a lot of options but most probably your advisor would have configured a few of the options as default so you can just click on pdf and then click on apply to download the report 
as the advisor prevent, uh, recommends. Now, choosing on category, uh, there are four report types when you choose PDF. One is category, subcategory, transaction, and client wise. If you choose category and click on apply, now all these check marks here are related to sections of the report. So you can choose whether or not to see a section or not. The, uh, this is the portfolio report. Uh, the investment snapshot since inception on the top shows you the cash flow in your portfolio since the beginning since inception so it it has all the uh, investments and redemptions that you have ever made and the irr the total irr uh, for those investments this this shows you the current asset allocation and if you scroll below you can see the current allocation fund wise uh, by scheme uh, by sub category and by holding so for equity you can see by script and by sector and for debt you can see by uh, paper or by rating of the debt holdings now below this we have a scheme wise portfolio report the same one that you saw before on the screen you can see in the pdf as well so it shows you all the same columns that we saw on the web and at the bottom you can also see if you have other types of assets apart from mutual funds you can see all of them together in one report you can see shares and bonds uh, fixed deposits in case you have recorded them in the portal insurance policies that you have and you can also have this report sent to you at a frequency on email every uh, month or every quarter you can ask your advisor to email this to you so if, if you click on email and then click on apply it will send you a portfolio report on email which will sort of look like this but it would basically have your report as an attachment Now, moving on, you can also see this report in the Excel format. So if you choose XLS, you can download your portfolio return in a Excel format. Now we'll move on to the portfolio summary report. Uh, the difference between the portfolio valuation and portfolio summary is that the portfolio summary report shows you the realized and the unrealized gain together and the portfolio valuation shows you only the unrealized gain of the currently held units so this is a uh, summary report of all your investments even the ones that you have sold off now the portfolio summary reports has a lot of columns so here it shows you the folio number the name of the investor if you have a family account there will be multiple investors here the scheme name uh, the purchase amount the total amount that you have purchased in the scheme the amount that you have switched in dividend reinvestment amount uh, the sell amount redemption amount switch out amount the balance units as on today and the uh, pur purchase cost of the currently held units the current value that you have in this scheme and the amount that you got from dividend paid the realized gain that you have booked so this is the booked profit realized gain unrealized gain is the profit that you stand to make as on today the absolute return on these two gains and the irr return uh, of this scheme so the total irr return is mentioned on the top right corner if you click on transact it will take you to the online investment module and open this scheme uh, we'll see that in a few moments so as I said, there are a lot of configurations that you can use to see this report. Uh, you can choose to see this report for any particular time period as well. So you can enter any from date and you can enter any to date and see the return of your portfolio between these two chosen dates. So here you will notice that an opening balance column has come now. So the opening balance is mentioned here and the IRR of that time period the chosen time period is shown here you can also take this report in the pdf format and choose any sections that you want
So this is another format of the portfolio report. The top section is the same as the previous report, but the bottom section shows you what we saw on the web screen. So the opening balance and all these cash flow columns have come and a IRR return is mentioned at the right. So this has all your assets, even the ones that you have sold. The return on those assets is also included. Now we'll move on to the capital gain report. So this is the income tax report that you can use to see how much uh, is the tax payable for a particular financial year. So you can come here and see on the screen for any uh, chosen asset class for a given financial year what is the capital gain that is payable so we categorize the capital gain in four categories uh, short term debt short term equity and long term debt and long term equity but we also further categorized long term equity into long term equity before 31st january and after 31st january so this report is required by your chartered accountant to file your income tax returns if you click on any of the uh, sections it will expand and show you the schemes that have a gain in that particular section so in short term debt there are two schemes and this is the taxable gain on those schemes now if you click uh, on the folio number it will drill down further to see, to show you what all were the sell transactions and how have how have they cancelled out the purchase transaction and you can see the gain for each transaction and how you can see the entire working of how the taxable capital gain has been calculated this report can be taken out in a pdf format also so there are three formats available the summary format uh, will show you a folio wise capital gain and this is a short format of the capital gain report so it will categorize into short term debt uh, is in long term debt short term equity and long term equity if there are no uh, gain for a particular category then it will come as blank and further long term equity has been split up into uh, gain for purchases made before 31st january for which grandfathering would be applicable and gain after 31st january for which there will be no grandfathering shares and bonds are also listed here if there is any intraday gain made on share purchase and sell that is listed separately yeah uh, if if there is any tds uh, cut uh, that is also mentioned in a separate section and a valuation report as on 31st march of that financial year is also uh, given at the bottom uh, if if this report is taken out for an entire family it will show you family member wise capital gain one below the other and then it will give you a summary across all family members now you can go to the capital gain report the next report is used to see the capital gain if you were to sell as on today's rates so this report is useful for planning a redemption uh, to see how what uh, scheme you should sell which is say for example underperforming and uh, is not short term so there is uh, less tax liability even ELSS schemes uh, come here in capital gain unrealized so you can see if any ELSS scheme is locked or unlocked it will be shown over here as a separate category now uh, you can also record other assets in this uh, online viewer you can enter any shares and bonds that you have made through your share broker you can click on the add transaction button here and then add these uh, share and bond transaction so all scripts are available here you can enter the price units and add the shares similarly fixed deposits also you can click on the tab of fd and then click on add transaction to add a fd transaction that you have you can edit any transaction using the actions on the right in other assets you can add any property gold or any other type of asset that you may hold any ppf also you can add so this is just basically we'll record a value and add that value to the portfolio and also to the irr of your total portfolio 
So this way you can maintain a consolidated portfolio of all your investments in one uh, place. In the insurance menu, you can record insurance policies, life, health insurance and general insurance policies can be recorded so that you can maintain all of this data in one place. You can click on the add insurance button on the top right and then enter the insurance policy details and also upload the policy document. Now the invest online module is split up into two portions. One is the new investment section. Uh, this is useful in case you want to invest in any new scheme or a new folio. So you can uh, br browse around and find any good scheme to invest in. Or if your, inv if your advisor has recommended a scheme, you can find a scheme using the search on the top and then select that scheme. Clicking on the scheme name will open the fact sheet and clicking on the transact button will open the uh, order placing form. So you can choose whether you want to do a lump sum purchase or a SIP. You can choose the scheme type, either growth or dividend. You can choose uh, how much you want to invest and you can uh, either se uh, choose send payment link on email. Uh, if this option is chosen and you click on place order, this will take uh, this will send an email uh, from the exchange to your email ID in which you have to click on that link and then proceed with the payment. If you choose pay now, there are a few payment modes available. Now this depends on the exchange that is configured in your portal, but uh, you can choose to invest via net banking. If you click on place order, it will open the net banking portal directly and you have to log in to your bank and then transfer the funds to invest online you can also uh, place an order through neft here you uh, here it is assumed that you have already transferred the amount to the exchange pool account and you have a reference number so you have to enter the reference number here and then click on place order you can also place a transaction through upi so here you have to enter your upi id and then click on place order this will trigger a payment collection request to the to your upi app and you have to open your app and then transfer the funds using upi payment so this way you can invest in any scheme uh, via uh, and you can do a lump sum purchase or you can do a sip also in any new scheme for a sip i can choose the frequency of sip and then i can choose the installment amount the start date and then choose a mandate here and then place order so uh, now the other menu is the additional transaction menu you can use this to either do an additional purchase uh, or start an sip in, ex in an existing scheme that you hold currently or do a switch or a red redemption so uh, the additional transaction menu first of all lists all the folios that you have currently and gives you a transact button against each of these folios when you click on transact button an order placing form opens up and you can choose uh, what type of order that you want to do so if you want to do a purchase then you can uh, choose the scheme type and then go on with the purchase or you can do a switch now the good thing here is once you choose switch or redemption the system will show you the locked or unlocked units or the short term or long term units so locked or and unlocked units is shown in case the scheme is a ELSS scheme or a children gift saving schemes or a retirement saving scheme any of those solution oriented schemes where there is a locking concept of the units the locked and unlocked units are shown so you basically want to choose the um, uh, the number of unlocked units and then proceed with the transaction you can choose any of the target schemes available in this AMC and then uh, transfer either all units or a specific amount and click on place order to execute the transaction. So all these transactions have to be confirmed. Uh, all these switch and redemption transactions and SIP transactions have to be uh, confirmed by accepting the link that is sent by the exchange on your email ID. If we click on the folio number here, it will open this SOA, which is basically a list of all transactions in this particular folio 
since inception. So you can see all the transactions and the source of this transaction also, along with the running balance. So this is basically a ledger of this folio. The My Orders menu will show you the, the list of orders that have been placed uh, between these two dates and you can see the status of the order. Now moving on, there is a feature called My Documents where you can store all your personal documents related to uh, the portfolio viewer. Uh, we'll also see the goal planner which you can use to uh, you can use use it with your advisor or you can do it yourself you can enter your goals here and see uh, if your goals uh, if you have enough money to meet all of your goals and how much money do you have to invest more to achieve them so i'll link a separate video on how to use the goal planner effectively and you can see that for further details can click on the pdf icon on the top right corner to download the goal report so this is how the goal report looks it will show you the list of all the goals that you have made in the system that you have recorded in the system and based on the folios assigned to the goal how much is the investment required to meet the goals Uh, my folios menu shows you a quick view of the folios that you have in the system and how much amount is in each of them you can download this in an excel also if you wish okay uh, that's all for now if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below or you can uh, ask your financial advisor to help you with the same uh, we also have a mobile app and i'll be linking the description on how to use the mobile app uh, in the uh, i'll be linking the video in the description below okay thank you have a nice day